Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online Video Collection. In this video, I am going to show you how to save the template to the Ninja Trader template folder, and then I'm going to show you how to load the Market Analyzer template that we have created. Now, um, when you receive the email, you will have a document attached that says Free Money Market Analyzer Template. And what you do is you go to your documents folder. Now, for some people, this may say do my documents, and for others, it will say documents. Okay? Depends on which version of Windows you are running. And then you highlight and double click on Ninja Trader 6.5. You select the templates folder. Within that folder, you will see there is a Market Analyzer template folder. And this is where you want to save the TTHD Free Money All file. Okay? And then you simply exit out of that window. And now this is the Control Center for Ninja. And what we're going to do is create the Market Analyzer window using the template that we just saved. To do that, we click on File, New, Market Analyzer. And as you can see, we have a blank window that pops up. What we have done is taken the indicators and put it into a Market Analyzer window. So you can monitor multiple symbols on multiple time frames all at the same time. Now, to use the template, we right click, we go to Templates, and we select Load by left clicking. Now, the name comes up as default, but when you click the arrow here, you can see that there is one there that says THD Free Money All, and you click OK. And I'm going to enlarge this now. And you see there's nothing displayed. That's OK. We're going to add our instrument list, which is the default. It will take a few minutes to load. You can see that we have the free money on a three minute. We have the ADX values as well as the DMI values. We also have it for a 12 minute. We have the trend, the stop, the support and resistance for three minutes. We also have a six minute. And then we have the daily trend. So actually, we're monitoring a three minute. 12 minute, a 6 minute, and a daily all within one screen. Now, let's say that we don't want to use the 6 minute and we don't want to see the 6 minute trend, the 6 minute stop, or the 6 minute support and resistance. We simply right click on the chart, left click on columns, and I'm going to size the window so I can see all of the values here. We're going to select all that say six minutes. We're going to change it to a 12 minute. And then we want to make sure that we change the label that goes with it. And then we're going to go down to the next one. We're going to do the same thing. And we're going to make sure that we change our label again. And we're going to do exactly the same thing on the Trend SR. We want to monitor the 12 minute instead of the 6 minute. And then we're going to click OK. And you can see that the column names up here have changed to 12 minutes now. We can also see what our stop values are, what the trend SR is doing. 
If you get white spaces in any of your market analyzer windows which looks incorrect, right click on the market analyzer, go to properties, and under number of bars to look back, we're going to select 300. And we're going to say OK, and that will reload the data and make sure that it loads 300 bars back. And we do that because sometimes on the 12 minute or the dailies when we're monitoring the dailies, we do have to load more data for those calculations. And we're going to let this load and then once we have it set up exactly like we want it, we are going to go in and save it as a default. If you are using um, a different time frame for like the Russell and then a different time frame for the S&P 500, you will need to have a separate market analyzer for each of those windows. It will take just a few minutes to load all of the data. We can link these to different charts. We can also remove instruments. For example, if you traded crude, and let's say that you traded uh, a one minute on crude, then you would need a separate market analyzer window. And what we are going to do is actually remove the instruments that we do not trade a three and a 12 minute on. As soon as all of the, the rows finish loading, I will show you how to do that. Okay, so now we don't want to trade a three minute on the EMD, so we're going to highlight it and we're going to select remove instrument. And we're going to do that for each one of these that we do not actively trade a three minute chart on. Now, as you can see, we have everything the way we want it. And what we're going to do is save this as the default we do that by right clicking on the chart, going to templates, and then left click on save as default. So now when we want to do a new market analyzer window, we simply go back to the control center, select file, new, market analyzer, and as you can see it comes up with all of the columns the way we have saved them. So all we need to do now is insert or add an instrument and in this case we're going to add the Russell and we're going to click OK. And now the only thing left to do is change the columns. Again we're going to resize these out Instead of a three minute, I like to trade a tick chart. So I'll select tick and 360. Make sure that I change my label. And then I go to the next one and do exactly the same thing. We go down to the label again, make sure that we type in 360 so that we know what time frame that is. Instead of a 12 minute, I'm going to use the 1080 here. Again, I'm going to change the label here to 1080. Go to the next one. change the label again 
and then we're going to do exactly the same thing on all of the other columns. Once we are finished, I'm going to select OK, and you can see that the labels do change.